I mean, look at Terudo. He's just so calm. He's over there meditating, breathing. This guy is like a real life samurai. This is Taru every day in the gym though. This is nothing extraordinary. Everyone here is getting to see it for the first time. This is him every day before practice, before sparring, after practice, after sparring. That is Taru in a nutshell, is calm, patient, confident. Look at them both so calm, relaxed. Both have that karate style bounce. Uh, Wilson comes from that karate background fighting out of upstate karate in South Carolina. I mean, when you look at Weston Wilson, he, he, listen, one of the famous quarterbacks that won a Super Bowl who was born was Steve Young. He said, I want to be the Steve Young of the MMA. That's a heck of a goal to reach for. But every time in the tape that I've watched him and watched him fight, his submission game is on point. Can you guys see Wilson oh. talking to himself? I don't know if you noticed that, but he's, he's saying something to himself. As he's as he's gauging his distance. Maybe it's like I'm the best, I'm the best. Like he's like, he's, like he's thug rosing it. Yeah, he's thug rosing <laughs> it. You know, man, just so high level, feeling each other out. Go ahead, Todd. Yeah, it, it's the third or fourth fight that we've seen the height difference. How he negotiates that's going to be very interesting as we've seen it play out in the other fights. Hey, Todd, I don't know if you know. Look to the lefty. You got Wonder Boy Stephen Thompson oh, look, right it is there. Too. Oh, Wonder Boy, <laughs> right here. What's, up, What's going brother? on, Wonder Boy? He said, hey, we're doing good. Always great to see Steve one boy. Yeah, absolutely. You see where he gets his style from, that karate style. He, he talked about down, that as well. Loose. Finding his range with those kicks. Yeah, and then oh. the landed, landed punch as well. You can see the height, the height, the reach difference means Taru has to really rush in to get his own, uh, to get his own range to get into his range to find his strikes. Weston in that southpaw stance, letting that, wants to let that left hand go. Oh, you see Wilson just really embodying that karate style, and it's no no surprise with Wonder Boy right here cornering him, just in and out, hands low, light on his feet. But he's he's tagging Taru, you know, because yeah. neither of these athletes are uh, defensive with their hands. They rely a lot more on movement, on footwork, and you can see Wilson is finding his range and he's tagging Taru with those long straight punches. Yeah, and Taru, wow. you wanted a calf kick, you saw oh. one. There was an uppercut on the run by Weston Wilson. It's Beast now he's putting on the pressure. Yeah, Beast are starting the fight now. Oh, Ooh. uppercut again. And but a big exchanges. left hook by Taru catches him. Taru is returning. I feel like Wilson rushed in a little bit too crazy. He got caught oh, and a with big another left hand. hand. Well, here's the thing. Taru has 11 wins, nine by KO as well. For someone as calm and as patient as Taru, he is a savage. Now you see that was a nice feint, and he got him to go down. and came back with the uppercut, and then tries to go to the knee. Now, that is so smart for him to at least level change. He's a, he's a striker karate guy, but he shows that he will take you down if you just dart in at him. And that's so smart, and that really shows a complete mixed martial artist. We're getting a treat here tonight for yeah, very well-rounded fighters. This is amazing, right? Like, Ishihara is able to, get, able to get up and switches it around. Well, that's the thing is Ishihara is from Team Alpha Male, which is renowned for its wrestling. He's going to be hard to keep down. Yeah, but what a good job with Wilson. At least show, hey, I'll take you down too. You can't just run in on me. I love how he's mixing that up. Now he's going to set up his hands even more. Good leg kicks yeah, by Tarun. Ishihara with the big oh, oh, and a big left hand. Oh, and Ishihara just over. caught him. Oh, big God. left hand that caught Weston Wilson. That was a bomb. Wow. Ten knockouts for Taruto Ishihara. Wow, just caught him coming in with the yep. left overhand. Wow. Just right on the button, right on the chin. Knocked ahead, out of the night. Look at the pre Ooh. look at the replay. A big left overhand straight on the button of Weston Wilson. Sits him down for the knockout win by Taruto Ishihara. It, Happy birthday, Taruto. Yeah, Congratulations. What a good birthday present. Seriously. And you know, that's why I get worried Here about that again. karate style with his hands down, his oh. left hand is down. But obviously distance is so important when you have a style like Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Absolutely, and for someone as passive as Taruto in his everyday life, he is an absolute savage. He is yes. explosive. He, he has amazing timing, amazing distancing, and he doesn't stop. Taruto got hit clean by multiple oh, yeah. punches by Weston Wilson and never stopped coming forward. We wondered how the height difference, how the size difference would play out 
there we saw it for the first time tonight yep. where the shorter fighter took advantage and that was an absolute bomb that he landed. You see Wesley Wilson inch forward and Taruto just caught him flush on that lower mandible and put him out. Yeah, it was Taruto did a really great job of using his explosiveness to cover that distance. Wesley Wilson did an incredible job of keeping him at range for majority of that fight, utilizing push kicks, long straight punches, but Taruto just exploded in so hard. And that left overhand where he timed Weston Wilson as he came in was so picture perfect. You can't ask for a better finish. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steven Bontadabis calls a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Teruto Yashabo Ishii.